yeah, sorry there, a little technical difficulty. Um, the third goal, ASM, same again, drifting past two or three players, lays it wide, um, but he doesn't stop there, he gets in the box, which was another common occurrence yesterday. We had so many, um, so many more bodies in the box than we usually have under Steve Bruce and Graham Jones. Um, lays it wide, Ryan Fraser, beautiful, beautiful cross into the box. Um, and it was a great finish. And we pushed until the end. Um, when we had the four minutes added on, a sort of they took the sting out of it a bit. And then they did in Italy, and they had their players down, you know, cramp, and fucking stretching and grimacing and whatnot. And then no time was added on for that. But never mind. Um, we should have won the game. Joe Linton chance. You know, you look at that. <clears throat> every single one of their goals was a mistake by us defensively. Whereas, you know, our first goal was just a perfect corner. Our third goal was a great run by ASM, a great cross, great finish. And our second goal, um, you know, great finish by Joe Linton, ball into the box, I believe, by Matt Ritchie. So, <clears throat> I think we were better than Brentford. It's, it's a kick in the teeth because we're now bottom of the table. We're the only team in the division not to win. You know, Norwich have, have picked up six points in their last two games. Villa have stopped the rot. Gerard and Dean Smith at Villa and Norwich have got instant, immediate wins. And Eddie Howe have been up the club longer. Not pointing fingers, not blaming. It's encouraging. It's encouraging, but this was a game we need to win. We've got, I believe, Burnley and Norwich coming up at home over the next few weeks. I cannot state. They are fucking crucial games. Absolutely crucial. Um, I think we've got Arsenal away at some point. They look better, although they, they got smashed 4-0 by Liverpool last night. But we're not Liverpool. Um, and then we go into that horrendous period of Leicester, Liverpool, City, United. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Um so, at the end of the day, defensively, cost us yesterday, unfortunately. Sorry, boys. But offensively, going forward, so much better. We were behind twice in the game. When it went 2-1, and I was there raging. I was like, right, that's it now. That's it. And then I stopped myself. I was like, oh, hang on. This isn't the Steve Bruce team. Let's, let's give him a chance. You know, there was always hope. 3-2, yeah, there was hope we could get a goal. At 3-3, three, three, then there was hope that we could go on and win the game. So, it, you know, that there is some a lot of positives to take from yesterday. Great performance going forward. Energy, desire, flair, entertaining football for a change. Um, and we, yeah, let's push on. Let's push on and get, we need to get, we need to get up, <clears throat> up and around Burnley, I think, before January to stand a chance. You know, we're rock bottom. At this moment in time, you know, the, the last two games you could argue that we, we could have, well, we should have won. You know, the Brighton game with the Wilson incident. And then yesterday with, with the Jolinton chance, you know, the poor defending. You know, we, we could have won that game 3 1, 4 1 yesterday. But never mind, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. Oh. It's a new start, and let's let's start as we mean to go on. Um, I think we have, so we just need to tighten up a few things. But we will be a threat. We'll be a threat to other teams now, and I think we will survive. I fucking hope so. Right, onwards and upwards. See you later.